hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i will be making some christmas diy so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft starting with my first project from dollar tree i will be using two of these wood slats now i am reusing one of them one is 10 inches and one is 12 inches now the N, E, and L, I got them from Target from the dollar spot. They were $1 each. Going to attach these wood slats together to make a bigger one using hot glue. You can use wood glue if you like. Then I'm going to paint it using some white chalk paint. I forgot to mention I will be using three Jenga blocks which I got from the Dollar Tree and I also painted those white. To glue the letters to the wood piece I will be using the Jenga blocks. For the O, I will be using one of these Dollar Tree ornaments, three come in a pack. I'm actually going to show you two different options, this one and the one I ended up using after all, which this is very flimsy, this snowflake, and I should have added the letters closer together so it can stay, but I didn't. So I did use a little bit of glue on each end of the snowflake and then just glued them to the letters. And this is option one. For option two, I found this snow wreath. I don't know what it is, a donut. I don't know, but I got this from the Dollar Tree. I did remove the greenery that came with this and I added my own which are these pine picks that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to add one on each side and then in the center, I will be adding a bow that I made using the Dollar Tree ribbon. And that is it for this countertop Noel sign, which I really like how this turned out. Now the great thing about this is that you can use this all through winter. Moving on to my next project, now most of these things I did get them on clearance from Hobby Lobby except this Dollar Tree vinyl and the large snowflake which those are from the Dollar Tree. Now these letters each of them were 74 cents each and this large sign was $5.49 or 59 cents something like that but these were very inexpensive. Now I'm going to start by painting the letters using some white chalk paint. I'm using this sponge to paint them because I do not want to paint the sides of the letters, just the top part. Going to set those to the side and let them dry. Now I'm going to paint the sign using the Waverly Antique Wax. I'm only going to paint the frame. Honestly, this sign is already a pretty color and you can leave it like this. The reason I'm painting it and adding the I know it is because my walls are white and I feel like it blends in with it. Now I'm going to add the vinyl. This is very easy. It's like if it was a sticker and once I am done adding this, I will cut it. Now you can cut it to size before you add it. I'm using my Cricut tool to cut this. Now I'm going to add the J, the O, and the Y. You can add this vertical or horizontal, whichever you prefer. Day, 
The last thing I will be doing is adding the snowflake on the O. And that is it for this large joy sign. This next project is so easy and simple. Now from Dollar Tree, I will be using four of the wood planks, this wood box, and some jungle blocks. Well, actually, you don't need the jungle blocks. I thought I was going to use them, but I ended up not. Now, I am going to just switch the boxes because I already had one that I had already painted. So I was like, I'll just use this instead. I'm going to flip it around and start gluing the wood planks on top of it. Now, I did only use hot glue. You can use wood glue if you like. And if you haven't already guessed what I'm making, I am making a planter. I'm going to paint it mixing these different paints. This one that I got from Hobby Lobby, some black paint, and whatever white was left over on the plane, on the plane, <laughs> on the plate. I honestly expected a different color, but all this made was a light gray. Now, once I am done painting it, that is it. I did add some Walmart Christmas greenery. And that is it for this planter. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be using two of the Dollar Tree wood hanging decor sign. This wood plank that accidentally broke, which honestly I was going to just cut it in half. And this deer head that I got from the Dollar General, which was one dollar. Going to start by attaching both of these wood signs together using some Dollar Tree Jumbo Popsicle Sticks. Time of year, winter wonderland. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. Then I'm going to paint my sign using some white chalk paint, which I added water. And this little sponge had some brown, I think, on it or some antique wax. And I still used it. I actually like the color this made it look. Before I add the other wood pieces, I will be adding the hanger, which I use a piece of jute twine and some Dollar Tree beads. I started off painting the wood pieces with the antique wax, but then I decided that I wanted these to look darker, so I did add a little bit of black paint. Oh, 
Once these were dry, I did add them to my sign. I added the smaller piece at the top and the bigger piece at the bottom. Now I'm going to add the deer head, but instead of adding it in the center, I will be adding it more towards the top because I will be adding some greenery underneath it. Before I add the greenery, I'm adding this Rejoice sign that I already had. Now I was going to add a Believe Dollar Tree wood sign, but I remember I already had this and it was already painted, so I just used this. Now I'm going to add this greenery that I got from Walmart and I will be adding a bow in between both of these picks. And that is it for this sign. The last thing I did was add a little bit of black where the little hole was at. But other than that, that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. And that is it for these beautiful large Christmas DIYs. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.